I know you must have heard the Muslim telling you that they are the only one that believe in Jesus. The only one that truly follow the teachings of Jesus. But listen to how Bob destroyed the famous Dawah script, proving that the Muslim have no idea who Jesus really is. There isn't a single faith apart from Christianity and Islam. There isn't a single faith in the whole entire globe that believes in Jesus the way we believe in Jesus. He was born miraculously. That, um, and there isn't a single faith in the world, me, including you as well, that prays, apart from Islam, that prays the same way that Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. There isn't, apart from the Jews, we follow what Jesus did, which is part of the Mosaic law, which is to refrain from eating pork, alcohol, and get circumcised. Christians don't do any of those things, yeah, but we do it. But Can wait, I reply? Pop, pop, pop. Can I reply? Yeah, I'm not finished yet. Okay. Just, and when your Jesus comes back, and he, he says, bring those enemies of mine who did not want me to be king over them, yep. bring them in front of me and slay them, yep. that's not, that does not include the Muslims. Why? Because as Muslims, we do not reject Jesus as being king of this world. We will not reject him. So that verse would not apply to us. It will apply to 90% of the globe. Yeah? Can I, can I reply? Right now, 90% of the globe do not believe in Jesus. Only one religion in the world still believes in Jesus, believes in his miracle, and follows what he did and said. Yeah? Can I reply now? So now, but there isn't anybody else. Can I reply now? What would happen to them and what would happen to us? Can now I reply can now? Yes, sir. Firstly, this idea that Christians don't pray like Jesus demonstrates again, Mr. Brown, your complete and utter ignorance of the Christian faith. We Christians prostrate in our prayers. I did it last Sunday. Yes, bro, head to the ground. We do that in our prayers. No, don't interrupt. Listen, I am telling you that when it comes to Christianity, you should shut up because you don't know what you're talking about. You are an ignoramus when it comes to speaking. When it comes to speaking. Stop attacking Listen, listen. When it comes to Christianity, you are a total ignoramus. If you had done 10 minutes worth of research before you came out with that utter baloney, you would have seen on YouTube Christians using prostration in prayer. Do it now in front of us on camera. YouTube it. Just put Christians prostrating. Christians prostration in prayer and you will find thousands of videos of Christians prostrating in prayer. So, first point of your script. Want yes, bro. Yes, bro. How do you get Yes, bro. Where do you get to toss the prostrate? Okay. Okay. So, so bro, if you're not willing to if you're not willing to do the research, are you willing to do it right now? Go and do it do it right now. I dare you to have a brain. I dare you to do just a tiny bit of research before you come out with that utter dawa script bollocks. Next question. Wait one second. No, you made a lot of points. I'm going to reply to those points. Christians believe that Jerusalem is the holy city. Jesus believes that Jerusalem is the holy city. Muslims don't believe that Jerusalem is a holy city. They just believe that the mosque in the Temple Mount is holy. They don't believe that the city is holy. We're like Jesus, not like you. Jesus believed in the temple, the priesthood, and the sacrifices. Muslims don't believe in the temple, the priesthood, and the sacrifices. We Christians believe in the temple, the priesthood, and the sacrifices. So we're like Jesus, you're not like Jesus. This kind of simplistic, cherry-picking argument is based upon your ignorance, not your knowledge. Furthermore, you brought up the issue of circumcision. Circumcision is the covenant made with Abraham. And it was re renewed as part of the covenant of Moses. But in the new covenant, the one that Jesus establishes in his body and his blood, you don't need circumcision anymore because the circumcision is of the heart, not of the body. But why get circumcised? So one second, one second. So once again, you're demonstrating your ignorance. The reality is, Mr. Brown, this kind of logic of cherry picking, oh, we do this like Jesus, but you do, don't do this like Jesus. It works against you. Jesus didn't eat camel meat. Muhammad ate camel meat. So 
I don't eat camel meat, but you can eat camel meat. The Jews don't eat camel meat. So now the Jews are like Jesus. I don't, I can eat camel meat if I want to. You can, can eat camel meat like you want to. So the, now the Jews are like Jesus, but neither of us are like Jesus. So this is the sort of silly line, line of argument and it's based on your ignorance, Mr. Brown. Your ignorance. Now you talked about, you talked about the one religion that's like Jesus. Jesus founded a covenant on himself. That was the new covenant given in his body and his blood. Do you accept that the covenant of Jesus is given in his body and his blood? Do you accept that or not? No. Then you're not like Jesus, I'm like Jesus. Because I believe what Jesus taught, you don't believe what Jesus taught. Jesus said, pray to God and call him your father. Have you ever called Allah your father? No. So I'm like Jesus, you're not like Jesus because I say the Our Father. Jesus' normal way of praying was standing up, looking to heaven. Can a Muslim look to heaven when they pray in Salat? Yes. Lie. Lie. You lie. You see, you don't even know your own religion. In Salat, in Salat, you have to look to the ground. No, you have to look to the ground. You've only been told to look to the ground, but we can look up. We can't look straight. You can look ground, down, you can look up, but you can't look straight. Let's, yeah? In Salat, Muslims look to the ground where they're going yeah, to prostrate. We, we, exactly, that's what we've been told, taught. But we can also look up. If you have an image at the ground, you can look up. If you, if you have an image at the ground. Yeah. Right, but some normally... Of the, some of the mats, some of the mats, prayer mats, or even your whole mats, yeah. they come with images. Right. So if we're praying here in the grass and there's images... Which way would you look? Here, we, we, if there anyway, wasn't an image, which way would you look? We look up. We, if there wasn't an image, which way would you look? If there wasn't no image, you look on the ground. So the normative position of prayer is to look which direction? Ground. The normative position of prayer for the Jews, and that means Jesus, was to look to heaven. So I pray like Jesus, you don't pray like Every Jesus. Every prophet prayed with their face down, just like Moses no. and Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. You, you're, you're, you're totally wrong. I am not wrong here. All the prophets prayed, fell down on their face and prayed. Yeah. Bro, bro, the normative position in prayer for Jews is to pray standing, looking to heaven. It does not mean that they can't, one second, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that they don't prostrate. We Christians prostrate, but the normative position of Christians, like Jesus, is to stand in prayer, looking to heaven. That is the normative position of prayer. The normative position of prayer for Muslims is to stand at the beginning looking down to the ground. So you don't pray like Jesus, you don't call him our father like Jesus did, like Jesus taught. You don't even have that concept. Jesus, you, Jesus, you don't have that concept. When have you ever called Allah Abba? Never. Never. So but Jesus did and he taught us to do that. So who's like Jesus, me or you? Uh, it depends on the Jewish context, yeah. Because Depen on the Jew on the depends Jewish, on the Jewish context. On the Jewish context, yeah. It, it, so give me a Jewish called, context. They're, they're called Yahweh Father because they don't want to say his name. Okay. Yahweh, some of them, yeah. Right. So Yahweh. There's a, there's another one. Jesus okay. called Jesus understood God to be named Yahweh. What's the name of God in your religion? Allah. So not Yahweh. It's Eli. So not so not Yahweh. No. No. There you go. Yeah, so I'm like different. I'm like Jesus. But you're not like Jesus. But then Jesus on the cross said, Eli, Eli. If I say not God, Yahweh, God. Yahweh, Yahweh. No, Eli, Eli. 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 No, you see. Aramaic. You, Aramaic. No, that and what, what does Eli mean? means God. Yeah. So in Arabic, if you say in Arabic, how do you say uh, God in Arabic? Say Illa. Allah. Illa. No, Allah means the God. It's a contraction of Al which means the, and illa, which means God. But you see, you don't even know Arabic, bro. We're going into, we're going into semantics now. Okay. Oh, okay, semantics that you brought up. So the, last, the last part, if you can just address what I said about how we Muslims believe in Jesus, but the 90% of the globe does not. Okay, let me address that point. Thank you. Muslims don't believe in Jesus. They don't believe in Jesus at all. The, the Isa that they believe in, the one described in their Quran, let me, let me finish, the Isa, that is described in their Quran is nothing like the Yeshua described in the New Testament. The New Testament figure that we call Jesus looks nothing like the Isa that is described in the Quran. 
Muslims do not believe in the same person that Christians believe in. Christians believe that Christ was crucified and died on a cross. Do you believe that Christ died on a cross? No. no. Christians believe that Christ was God on earth. Do you believe that Christ was God on earth? No. no. So, 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 the God of Islam, the Isa of Islam, and the Yeshua of Christianity are completely different figures. Everyone, everyone, Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown. What, thank you, Mr. Brown agrees. So, so, one second. So, when we say, when we talk about the fact that on Judgment Day, people will be judged for not believing in Jesus, Muslims will be judged by God for not believing in Jesus. Basically, what you said about Muslims, right? So, basically, what I wanted to say was, there isn't a single faith, apart from Christianity and Islam, there isn't a single faith in the whole entire globe that believes in Jesus the way we believe in Jesus, who was born miraculously, that, um, and there isn't a single faith in the world, I'll even including you as well, that prays, apart from Islam, that prays the same way that Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. There isn't, apart from the Jews, we follow what Jesus did, which is part of the Mosaic law, which is to refrain from eating pork, alcohol, and get circumcised. Christians don't do any of those things, yeah, but we do it. Can but I wait, reply? Oh, but, Can I reply? Yeah, I'm not finishing. Okay. Oh, just, and when your Jesus comes back and he, he says, bring those enemies of mine who did not want me to be king over them, yep. bring them in front of me and slay them, yep. that's not, that does not include the Muslims. Why? Because as Muslims, we do not reject Jesus as being king of this world. We would not reject him, so that verse would not apply to us. It will apply to 90% of the globe. Yeah? Can I, can I reply? Right now, 90% of the globe do not believe in Jesus. Only one religion in the world still believes in Jesus, believes in his miracle, and follows what he did and said.